Every baker needs a great chocolate cake recipe in their repertoire. I really think you'll like my recipe for chocolate mayonnaise cake. This chocolate cake is rich, deep, dark, and flavorful without being heavy at all. The icing that we're going to make is a whipped chocolate buttercream that is fluffy and cloud-like. It's almost like the inside of a Three Musketeers bar. For most cakes, I use my KitchenAid stand mixer, but for this mayonnaise chocolate cake, I like to mix it by hand. I find that if I mix it by hand, the layers are lighter and smoother. In a large bowl, combine three cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of Hershey's Special Dark Cocoa Powder, two teaspoons baking soda, one half teaspoon baking powder, and one half teaspoon salt. Stir with a whisk to combine well. In a large bowl, beat four eggs. Add one and a half cups mayonnaise. I like to use a high quality mayonnaise like Hellman's or Duke's. Whisk to combine. Add two cups dark brown sugar. This egg, mayonnaise, and dark brown sugar concoction becomes almost caramel-like. I have one and three quarters cup of water, and I am just adding two tablespoons of very strong coffee. Add half of the dry ingredients, two the mayonnaise and brown sugar concoction. Fold in gently with the spatula. I like how the ribbons form here. And add about half of your water and coffee mix. When making a cake like this by hand, I alternate between using a spatula like this and a whisk. Add the second half of dry ingredients and the second half of our water coffee mix. Lastly, add two teaspoons vanilla. You don't have to wait until this batter is completely smooth before you bake it. In fact, a slightly lumpy batter is going to make a fluffier cake. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. I have three 8-inch cake pans, and they are prepared with shortening, cocoa powder, and parchment paper. We're going to bake these three gorgeous layers at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. our amazing cloud-like chocolate whipped buttercream. Start by melting one and a half cups semi-sweet chocolate chips in a glass bowl in the microwave for 30 seconds. Stir after the first 30 second interval, even if the chocolate chips don't seem very warm yet. 30 more seconds in the microwave and stir again. Be sure to keep them all collected in the middle of the bowl as they will conduct heat for each other. Lastly, one 20 second interval. And now you can see they're really getting melty. Give them a good stir. The bowl is getting warm now and that is helping. 
last interval is a 10 second interval. So in total, that is two 30 second intervals followed by one 20 second interval, and lastly, a 10 second interval. As long as you go slowly and you stir in between each interval, you will get a nice result. After your chocolate chips have completely melted, make sure that they have cooled down to where they are almost the same temperature as the butter. This will prevent them from actually melting the butter. I've creamed the softened butter well, and now I am adding my one and a half cups of powdered sugar. Once my butter and powdered sugar are soft and smooth, it's time to add the melted chocolate. Add a pinch of salt and one teaspoon of vanilla. At this point, I change out my paddle attachment for the balloon whip attachment. And we are going to whip this on high for about three minutes. And that is what is going to make this buttercream fluffy and cloud-like. Wow, it smells amazing. And this is our whipped chocolate buttercream. And it is fantastic. I clear my balloon whip attachment by just banging it against the side of the bowl like this. Of course, my favorite part of making a layer cake is the stacking and the icing. fluffy, cloud-like icing. It is always fun and therapeutic to make your own swirly designs. Take as much time as you want. I am convinced this is extremely good for your spirit. And here we have our gorgeous, old-fashioned chocolate layer cake. Should we cut into it? I think we should. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. I am very happy with this. Wow. Now that's a good piece of chocolate cake. That is pretty good. My kids are gonna be happy when they come home from school, which they'll be home in about 30 minutes, so right on time, right? Okay, I have to give you a taste test. First of all, that chocolate buttercream is so good. You really, really must try it. 
the cake I can see is light. I mean, I'm not just saying this, okay, because it's my recipe, but that is the best chocolate cake I've ever had in my life. It's light, but it's really like decadent and sumptuous and creamy and it's it's deep and it's dark and it's you know neither the buttercream or the cake overpower each other it's just incredible okay i'm gonna have another bite um you can find <laughs> this <laughs> you can find this recipe and many more on my website theflyingkitchen.com Please check out my podcast on Apple Podcasts or anywhere you get your podcasts it's called The Flying Kitchen Express. It's all about quick dinners for people who need to make dinner but don't necessarily want to. <laughs> okay, I so appreciate you being here. Please follow me on my socials and please subscribe to this channel and come back because I have so much more to share with you. So many more fun, inspired, and artistic uh, cooking lessons, recipes that come straight from my kitchen to yours. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.